Hi, my name is Valeska Wood, and today I'll be speaking about Piaget's theory of genetic epistemology. Piaget explained in one of his works that what the genetic epistemology proposes is discovering the roots of different varieties of knowledge, since its elementary forms following to the next levels, including also the scientific knowledge. Genetic epistemology is a study of the origins of knowledge. Its main purpose is to show that the method in which knowledge is obtained directly affects the validity of that knowledge. Genetic epistemology also explains the process of how a human being develops cognitively from birth throughout his or her life. Piaget described four stages of cognitive development and relates them to a person's ability to understand and assimilate new information. Next, we will take a look at the researcher behind this theory, its key principles, and its educational implications. Jean Piaget was born in Neuchâtel, Switzerland in 1896. He earned his PhD in biology and also studied philosophy. While working at the Alfred Binet Testing Laboratory in Paris, he became interested in the development of intellectual abilities in children. He began publishing work on childhood psychology and learning, as early as 1926. He was extremely productive, publishing 30 books and more than 200 articles. He created the International Center for Genetic Epistemology in Geneva in 1955 and directed it until his death in 1980. Now we'll take a look at the key principles of genetic epistemology. Piaget outlined four primary cognitive structures. In the sensory motor stage, children learn about themselves and their environment through motor and reflex actions. Thought derives from sensation and movement. Children learn that they are separate from their environments and that aspects of their environments, such as their parents or favorite toys, continue to exist even though they may be outside the reach of their senses. Applying a new knowledge of language, children in the pre-operational stage begin to use symbols to represent objects. Early in this stage, they also personify objects. They are now better able to think about things and events that aren't immediately present. However, children have difficulty conceptualizing time. They take in new information and then change it in their minds to fit their ideas. During the concrete operational stage, accommodation increases. Children develop an ability to think abstractly and to make rational judgments about concrete or observable experiences, which, in the past, they needed to manipulate physically to understand. The formal operational stage brings cognition to its final form. In this stage, the person no longer requires concrete objects to make rational judgments. At this point, people are capable of hypothetical and deductive reasoning. There are numerous educational implications. A full understanding of Piaget's theory allows teachers to better develop lessons and assignments based on the different developmental stages. It helps teachers to better discover how to keep a child engaged and how to offer new challenges and stimulations. Each student will have limitations based on their cognitive development and Piaget's theory can assist teachers in finding new ways to help children grow. Yay!